Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So before we start, I have got some new releases to show you, but if you're not interested, I've timestamped it here so you can just skip forward to see my plan with me. So I've got some new Halloween releases that are in my shop right now. The first one here is a two page countdown. So if you are a lover of Halloween and you just want to count it down throughout the whole of October, then you can grab this two sheet one, which has got the little pumpkins on with the countdown of the days. The next thing is my poppets. Of course, I had to do Halloween poppets. These are all so adorable. They're all dressed up in different fancy dress options. Some are more Halloween lean towards and others aren't. And then at the bottom, you have your three larger poppets, which are more your kind of trick or treat poppets. And then I also have a kit as well. This one is called the Boo Crew. So here are your four boxes. You also get half boxes, quarter boxes and deco along with functional deco. This is your ombre checklist page. And I decided to do glitter headers with this one. So you've got glitter, kind of littles and headers, and then your icon and your weekend and your ombre weekly box. And then here's your bottom washi and your washi strips. So all of these are currently in my Etsy shop right now. So I'm gonna leave the link to that down below and I hope you guys enjoyed them. So let's get on with the actual plan with me for this week and I'm planning for August 28th through to the 3rd of September and I'm using one a kit sorry from Project Plan. I've, this is the second kit, I've used one of her kits before. So I'm just going to give you a quick flick through of all of her kit here before I start using it. So as usual I'm going to start with the bottom washi first and I like the quote in my planner this week so I'm just going to take the washi to cover up the dates at the top. It wasn't until I was putting it down I realised if I put it down then you would see the green kind of loops at the top and if I was to place it at the top you would still see the writing at the bottom. So I just stuck this back down and then went ahead and got some glitter washi. This is like a rose gold so I thought it kind of went with the kit nicely. I'm just going to layer that down first and then pop the washi straight on top of it. I also realised as I was doing the second half that it kind of makes it look like I've got glitter headers along the top. So I decided in this spread not to use any of the headers from the kit, I just used the glitter washi instead. So I'm going day by day as usual and the first thing I'm going to do is put down this really pretty full box because it's my daughter's birthday. She's going to be 15, I can't quite believe I'm a mum to a 15 year old, I kind of feel very old and nostalgic but I just put down one of my birthday poppets at the top there as well and then cut another glitter header before moving on to the next part. So I stuck one of my winter poppets down which is perfect because we were going to be going ice skating for my daughter's birthday. She's also going to be having a friend sleepover and her friend's name is Ellie too so it gets very confusing to have two Ellies and also my family's going to pop over as well because it's my daughter's birthday so I just put another glitter header down first and then put one of my love poppets down and then just write down that my family's coming over. The two poppets that are holding hands, the like friends one, that is also on my love sheet just in case you are wondering. I then went down and put down my TV show and I'm going to be writing down my meals as I go throughout the week before putting down a half box with a little page flag as it was also a bank holiday here in the UK. And for my TV show it's the Game of Thrones season finale. So for Tuesday I put down a thick piece of washi and a half box that I just flipped up onto its side and I just needed to remind myself I needed to call the doctors to get some blood results. So I just used one of my doctor poppets as well at the bottom. Next I just put down my full box and I used one of the heart little things to mark down that they had some homework that they had to start before going back to school. Next I put another glitter header down before putting a checklist down, they're not ombres, I nearly said ombre, <laughs> it's just a heart checklist. I had some things that I needed to do Tuesday and then I'm going to finish it off with putting another meal sticker and a TV programme which is Scandled. I also thought I would add just a thin strip of the glitter washi there just to finish off that full box because it looked a bit plain without a washi strip going across. So for Wednesday I put a page flag down onto its side with a need coffee poppet before putting my full box down and I just wanted to have a quick tidy up. 
So for the afternoon I just split the time obviously with the glitter washi and underneath I put two pieces of patterned washi and just wrote design in the middle because I wanted to design in the afternoon and that makes me super happy so I used one of my happy poppets. After putting a bit of glitter washi down I had to write down that I needed to do a food shop so I just wrote that down before putting my full box down. And then on top of the full box, I use one of the larger poppets that are on the takeaway sheet, which says feed me on its little bib. Underneath, I put one of the meal icon little things down and an asterisk little thing down as well, because I had something important that I needed to do on Wednesday. For Thursday, I started with one of the shopping basket. I'm not sure if it's a shopping basket or a laundry basket, but I've used it as a shopping basket and I've just written to buy and then put a little checklist down because I have a few things that I need to buy before they go back to school on the Monday. Then I just put another glitter header down before putting a half box down and I took the school header from the header sheet just to put that underneath my checklist because everything's to do with the school anyway. So on top of my half box I just write homework because I've got some homework to do before going back to school and then I put a half box down with my TV program and the meals little things too. So for Friday I started with a half box and then on top of there I put one of these pound sign labels and I just wrote bill due because I've got a few bills due on this day. I also had to remind myself I needed to buy some more sticker paper so I just put down another one of the little shopping baskets and wrote order paper before putting my full box down and another glitter header. Then I used a thick piece of patterned washi with a half box flipped up onto its side and I wanted to write down that I've got new Etsy releases. I'm going to try to have new Etsy releases every Friday so every Friday something new will pop, in my, pop up in my shop hopefully. Uh, that's what I'm going to try and stick to, that's my goal for this month. And then underneath I just put my little things which was a meal little thing, a TV little thing which was for scandal and then another little pound sign little thing which was to remind myself to make an Etsy order. So for the weekend I just put down my weekend banner and then I carried on with the Saturday so I used two pieces of patterned washi again and then just reminded myself I've got Tesco delivery on the Saturday which is for some of their school stuff so that's really important that I didn't forget that. I then put down some glitter washi as a header and then another half box because it's my nephew's birthday party on this day which is like a medieval dress up theme so it was the perfect time to use one of these Halloween poppets as one of them is dressed up as a dragon. Underneath I put one of the heart checklists and just wrote down things that I needed to do on the Saturday. I used one of the broom icons from the icon sheet just where I have put help tidy up and then I put a piece of glitter washi before putting down my plan next week little thing, another meal little thing and a TV little thing which was of course scandal. So for Sunday I started with a full box and then I put little asterisks down with a checklist and it is said on pre checklist again, it's just a normal checklist because there were things that I needed to get done at ready for school because I start school again on the Monday. So I'm back to the usual grind of a Sunday in my planner where I just list everything that needs to be done the night before going back to school. So underneath my glitter header I just needed to mark down that the children were going to have a bath and an early night. So I used the poppet from the swim sheet, it's one of the larger ones which has got a towel around its head and it's super cute, I love that one. So I just used that to mark down for there. And then for the sidebar I used some glitter washi as a background behind my full box. And then this week I used both of the habit trackers that came in the kit, so one was like a pink colour and one's a cream colour. And then to split the little gap up I just used a thick piece of washi before putting my next week header down and a checklist. So I wanted to use one for Instagram and one for Facebook for my habit trackers and then I just filled in my next week section. And then to fill in the gap at the bottom I just used what was left over from the washi so I had two pieces of patterned washi and I also used the movie marquee I just needed to fill up that gap so I also put in there a little poppet that says need coffee. So I just wanted to write down the days of the week and I kind of wish I would have done this off camera because it would have come out a lot neater as I can't see exactly what I'm doing I'm kind of writing with my arms stretched so the camera can see. So it's a little bit bugging me that it's not perfect but you know, never mind, doesn't matter. So I just wrote the days of the week along the top and then I just put the dates above the days of the week. 
At least I only have to look at this messy writing for this week and then I can turn the page and we'll forget about it until I do my flip through at the end of the year. <laughs> then I went back and added a few pieces of washi strips just to where there was some bigger gaps that I wanted to fill up. And that was it for this week's spread. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did then make sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for weekly plan with me's and new release videos. And I will see you all on Monday. Have a good week guys, bye!